Item number, SCP-214. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-214 is to be contained in a 4x4 meter quarantine cell, suitable for long-term human habitation within Bioresearch Area 12. It is to be considered an etiological agent of a Level 4 biohazard. Level 4 biohazard containment requires clean rooms, pre- and post-entry decontamination showers, and a vacuum antechamber. All air and water sources to SCP-214's containment area are to be isolated from the rest of the area. All employees entering SCP-214's containment area must wear hazmat suits with self-contained oxygen supply and supplemental cut-resistant liner. The cell shall be under continuous observation using remote video surveillance. SCP-214 is to be considered a danger to itself and others, and shall not be allowed to possess potentially dangerous utensils. Due to SCP-214's distinct perception of pain, guards shall not cause physical injury to it, except under the direction of Level 2 staff. Beyond the above procedures, all personnel intending to interact with SCP-214 are to undergo psychological evaluation. Any employees with prior history of depression are not permitted to interact with it. Regular sessions of psychological observation are to occur post-research on all participants. Any personnel exhibiting two or more of the following symptoms during observation are to be quarantined immediately in identical containment to SCP-214. Self-harming behaviors. Blunted effect. Glossolalia. Logoria. Compulsive lying. Silvery discharge from mucous membranes or wounds. Obsessive compulsive behaviors, particularly in writing or speech. Research staff is heavily encouraged to read Log 214 and Interview 214 before conducting experiments as a precautionary measure. Description SCP-214 is male, age formerly an agent at the Foundation. Physical and mental changes were noted after investigation of an incident at Public Library, Massachusetts. Containment of SCP-214 is detailed in a physical examination of SCP-214 shows the replacement of most bodily fluids, including but not limited to blood, vitreous humor, seminal fluid, and cerebrospinal fluid, with a mercury-like substance. Chemical analysis shows that the substance is a suspension of complex organometallic compounds in a protein, a lipid-enriched serum, but so far, nothing more can be ascertained of its origins or purpose. Most bodily functions were observed to no longer be active in SCP-214, though the related organs still exist in a preserved state within the body cavity. This includes the brain, which no longer shows activity on electroencephalography. It shows notable selective regenerative properties, some injuries vanishing within moments of infliction, while others remain unhealed, even after a period of time in which a normal human would have recovered. SCP-214 does not experience pain normally, instead reacting to it as pleasure, with no regard to physical damage to its body. Objects have been noted to disappear in the vicinity of SCP-214. There is currently no known method of recovering lost items. Addendum 214-A Excerpts of Agent Diary relating to becoming SCP-214 have been transcribed to Log 214. Addendum 214-B Logs of interviews with SCP-214 have been transcribed to Interview 214. Addendum 214-C Researcher has been detained after showing symptoms identical in nature to SCP-214 at the conclusion of L-214. Containment procedures have been updated to reflect the contagious nature of SCP-214. Log-214 Personal Log of Agent Date Undisclosed I got my latest assignment. Apparently, there's reports of cult activity centered around a public library and Shipping out tomorrow to investigate, along with the rest of Lambda-7. There's major concern about it being a part of Church of the Broken God, given that the location contains a large museum of machinery. Hate dealing with them. The crazy machine god thing gives me more creeps than the rest of the shit here. Most of them only kill your body. Date. 
Undisclosed. Initial recons back on the building. Nothing anomalous so far, with 90% of the building mapped. Only thing left is the periodicals wing. That seems to be closed for renovations. Seems like people go in there quite a bit after dark, but the door is always locked, and the architect that designed this place seems to have a personal vendetta against windows. Nothing wrong with spikes, though. This place has spikes on every surface they could think of. Team's going to shadow one of them in tomorrow and see what's going on inside. Note. Between this log and the next, the entirety of Lambda 7 vanished without a trace, along with the reported cultists. Date. Undisclosed. Pages upon pages flitter through my mind, breezeborne motion revealing in the saturation of information, coalesced and indexed to perfection, safely stored. The library approves of the new acquisitions to its collection, filling her walls ever more with the distilled essence of being, for all to borrow, but never keep. Subsuming the identity, enrobing oneself in another for a time for the goals for the plans and partly realized dreams. Emulating the flesh and its frailties, its ickers and impulses as a marionette on string dancing its jerky frivolity. Date. Undisclosed. Awake again. Not sure how long I've slept on the way back to- Read previous log. I think I might have been sleep deprived. It doesn't make any sense. Cult's gone. Team's gone. Writing after action report. Attempted to erase previous log, but can't see the button to do that. Compromised. The word keeps echoing in my head. I think I've been compromised. Cut myself shaving this morning and bled Quicksilver into the sink. The sensation of the blade cutting into my skin felt like a lover's caress. It's my duty to self-terminate. I've been compromised. Once the report's done, I'll do that. Still have my sidearm. 12.04 p.m. Tension. Build up. Trembling finger. Burnt cordite taste. The flash. The burst. The romance of lead entangling bone and fat, followed by orgiastic release. Date. Undisclosed. Awake again. Bullet didn't do anything. No recollection since I pulled the trigger. I was in the bathroom. Now I'm in bed. There's hotel and medical staff uniforms laying around, but no people. No remains. No signs of a struggle and not a drop of blood. Tried to call my superiors to warn them that I'm coming, but my fingers keep missing the numbers. All I can do is write in here. Something makes me think that they want this to be found. Just too late. Still bleeding out the back of my head. Something feels right about that, and the warm sensation running down is delightful. End log. Interview 214. Interviewed. SCP-214. Interviewer. Researcher. Forward. Initial interview to ascertain the origin of SCP-214. Begin log. Researcher. I'd like you to tell me again about what happened at the library. SCP-214. Library, home sweet home. Have you been to the periodicals section? Such a lovely place. Glittering with the dewy webs of knowledge strewn across the indexes. Researcher. Home. Do you mean like a metaphysical home? Or did you actually plan to live there? We show your address of record as... SCP-214. I've always been there. I'm still there. Home is where the library is, after all. And this is my home now, isn't it? So this is the library now. It'll be a fine one, too, once I get everything organized. Researcher. What do you remember of before the library? Do you remember your name? Do you remember why you were sent to the library? SCP-214. Oh, my name is SCP-214, isn't it? Filed and stored away with so many other texts. I greatly admire your work. You hold so many beautiful things here. Researcher. That's your designation, yes. Do you remember what it was? SCP-214. Designation. A distinguishing name. Yes, I know it. Do you remember what yours is? Researcher. Of course. But I'm not the one answering the questions here. Do you remember what happened at the library between when you arrived and you were found? SCP-214. Are you sure? Because you told me it was Alicia before. Sometimes, 
people lose themselves, and I wouldn't want that to happen to you. It's for your own good that you know yourself. What happened? What always happens in a library? Knowledge was exchanged. Researcher. Alicia. What? No. You're attempting to change the subject. What knowledges were exchanged in the library? With whom? Reports suggested people inside, engaging in some kind of synchronized ritual. But when we showed up, you were the only one there. What happened to the rest of the people, 214? SCP-214. I already told you. Knowledge was exchanged. Everything is information, to be stored and sorted. Compressed, if need be. Researcher. Stored where? There were no traces of any other individuals inside that building when the recovery team arrived, but you were covered in the unknown sample. SCP-214. Oh, Alicia, you do have such a limited view of things here. You ask the wrong questions. You already know where. They're in the library. They never left. Researcher. My name isn't... We did a thorough search of the library. You were the only one inside. We didn't even pick up DNA traces. Someone or something had swept it clean. Tell me what happened in the library. What happened to those 17 people to... 214. SCP-214. You keep confusing the map for the territory, Alicia. It is a bad habit. They've been indexed in the library, stored, numbered, and sorted. Researcher, you... you don't mean the building, do you? When you talk about the library. SCP-214. You do good work here. We work at complementary purposes. To secure, protect, and contain, to organize, quantify, and enlighten. You are so bright, Alicia. Just a few more steps now. Researcher, can you, can you show me the library? SCP-214, of course I can. End log. Closing statement. Said researcher was found after the interview, inside SCP-214's enclosure leaking silvery fluid from Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-213, Antimatter Parasite, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.